All right, welcome back to the channel. So I got a little story for you. So many years ago, I was tasked to teach resiliency. I did it for about four years. And one of the stories I like to tell at that time was how we often have to overcome our own negative thoughts to keep us productive in stressful situations. And the story I used to like to tell was about when I was stationed in northern Kentucky. You see, all my friends were into extreme sports and, and heavy endurance sports. And one of my buddies was like, he was like one of those special forces ranger guys, you know, jump out of airplanes, you know, do amazing things with, with just a spoon. So one day he decided to invite me on a bike ride. And this guy was like a five minute mile. He was in great shape. But me being me, being a competitive person, couldn't be outdone. So we get about 10 miles into this 40 mile bike ride. And we came up to this hill and I'm, I'm holding my own. We're racing up this hill and I'm holding my own. And I look at my boy and I'm like, hey, listen, I bet you I can beat you to the top of this hill. So he gives me the head nod and I started digging in. They still know I'm, we're neck and neck, but I started to pull away. Then I started to go faster and faster and I see him getting further and further behind me. But I didn't realize that the course we had, the course we were on, had a terrain feature called the corner where shit happens. And when I looked up, I realized that we were on that corner. There was a barricade that crossed the entire road and it was like a 90 degree corner you had to hit to make sure you didn't crash into this gate. Now, immediately I'm thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I'm about to die. But then I told myself, no, in this situation, the only person I need to overcome is my own thoughts. So I told him, I have been doing this many times before. And I know that I have the knowledge, skills, and ability to conduct this maneuver. So I calm my throats. I calm my, my thoughts, begin to squeeze the brakes, listen to the back tire swivel, and I hit the brakes, slammed into the turn, and missed that gate by near each inches. The moral of the story is sometimes you got to quiet those inner thoughts and do the things that you know you can do and stop talking yourself out of them. All right, thanks for joining us. And as always, we're just ordinary people trying to do extraordinary things. See you all next time.